Aye, 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 aye. The model of camper trailer that we've got is a 2008 Outback Sturt from Outback Campers. Uh, they're no longer around. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get going. We often get asked when we're out camping if our camper trailer is difficult to set up and I, we always respond with no, it's not that difficult to set up. Uh, a quick setup, which is just flipping it out, takes approximately 15 minutes. Before we had a camper trailer, we had a tent and we camped one time near Christmas down at Wilson's Promontory. Now for those people that have been there will know that it's quite a windy place. It's the most southern point of Victoria. So we had a two-man dome tent, nothing special or crazy. And it was that windy when we were setting it up. We had to lie on it and then peg it down and then put the poles in. And even that was a stretch. Anyway, in doing so, we did damage the, the tent a little bit, hence we decided at that point it was time to go to a camper trailer. During the same trip, we also had a friend of a friend camping at Wilson's Prom, and I was fortunate enough to go and help him set up. And throughout the process, he explained to me the pros and cons about camper trailers. And this proved to be really invaluable when we went for our search for our camper trailer. So the three things we were looking for was one, it had to flip over the back. And what I mean by this is, as it's laying here now, it flips over the back of the trailer. So there are ones that flip over the side of the trailer and we weren't interested in that. We wanted one that flipped over the back. The second thing was that it had to be Australian made. So we went through and found companies that made Australian made, that were Australian made uh, camper trailers. And then we started our search. And the irony is not lost on me that we bought it from a Chinese man that was going back to China to live. The third thing that we were looking for in a camper trailer was budget. So it had to be within our budget. So we had a budget of approximately $5,000 that we were looking to spend on it. And camper trailers, they can be anything from, you know, second hand, this one was. It could have been anything from $500 to over $50,000. So now I'm going to flick to the next part of the video. And here we are. So this is unhitching. So we're leveling up the trailer as we're unhitching it. So we've got the level there. We always use that as a guide. Um, obviously we've already driven around and selected the area that we want uh, without um, hopefully having too many fights. And Toby always is up for a play as soon as we arrive. He just wants to play with that ball. Um, he just loves it. It's his, like his reward for being in the car for so long until we get there. Uh, so we're unwinding, this is the start of our setting up process I suppose. We're unwinding the stabiliser bars. Uh, so we do this first off. Normally Toby barks at them because they might make a bit of a screech. But um, yeah, we unwind those as well as chocking up the wheels with our firewood. It just helps to keep the um, trailer stable. There's no handbrake on it. So we've already in this one, this was this footage um, that we're about to come up to. This is taken a few years ago. So we've already unclipped the, um, the cover here and we just roll it back. So nice and easy, and you can take it off. We tend to leave it on. We only have short stays, but we, um, for this time, we just left it there. Now, um, this is flipping it over. We got a little bit stuck on the tree, so you gotta watch out for what's above you. Um, but a little bit of tugging, and we're able to pull it out. And we have gone to now where we set up maybe a tarp underneath, which is what Toby was playing on previously. So that's pretty much it. Once you've unclipped the studs and rolled back the cover, uh, that's just flipping out the, the canvas. And here we are on this one. There was a bit of a um, problem with the footage when we did this one. So this is the end of it. So we've just flipped it over. And then, um, and then there's a stud that goes underneath, a little flap that goes under, uh, underneath, and we just clip onto that. So that's pretty much it flipped out. Uh, it doesn't really take that long. I know that um, we've sort of cut out bits of it and that and um, yeah, but it, it doesn't take long once you've sort of taken the cover off to then flip over the trailer. I had to go and get a beer and the pegs. So I think in this part I've sped it up a bit. So you'll see, um, 
Yeah, so I've sped it up. It's just putting pegs in, basically. Or that we have the um, impact screwdriver with coach screws. Uh, it just makes it a little bit quicker and easier. Um, don't have to worry too much about it. So that 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 generally doesn't take too long to put those in. Um, maybe less than five minutes. Uh, depends sometimes on how much I might be having a drink or what have you. Uh, you always got to go and get your drink when you're setting up, I think. Yeah, so unless you're setting up super early in the morning um, or even earlier and yeah, you don't want to be drinking too early in the day. So yeah, so that's it. All the pegs are in. Now we, we um, go inside. Inside, um, I'm going to be pushing out some poles, so you'll see that in a moment. But that's it. Once the pegs are in, uh, we then go inside. And these are the poles. So we've got four poles inside and one, four poles that we've got to push and pull. Uh, that's the best way to describe it. So here I am pulling it out. So it pulls out eventually. A couple of times they stick a little bit, but it's nothing too hard. So you sort of push it out and then you've got a little screw that you tighten it up. And then I go to the other side and do the same thing. So there's two poles there and they're connected. Um, and they push the back of the tent out. So make sure that they're nice and stretched and firm. I usually do it as a half one to start with and then go back and just uh, tighten it um, and push it out fully. So you see it move there, tighten it up, and then go back to the other side and tighten that up. It's just a little bit easier, I find, to do it that way. And then the fifth pole, which I think I'm about to grab, yep from the side of the mattress. The fifth pole just goes, is straight up. So we just leave it sitting at the side, it travels in there and it goes in that hole. And uh, we just straighten it up. That's there. Now we get to the poles that are either side of the bed and I push that, uh, push it out and then tighten it up. Push, tighten. It's not a lot of effort, probably more awkward because it's up high a little bit um, and it's right alongside the tent. So, yeah, but we've done it a few times now. It makes it pretty easy, I suppose. And that's it. We don't have the same mattress. We put, a, uh, I think, an Ikea mattress in. And that's us set up inside the tent. And Toby's just waiting for us to play. And there he is. So now we're on the outside. Everything's set up. So that's um, what we've shown you. I've flipped it out. I've pegged it down. And we've pushed the poles out on the inside. Uh, for this trip, we didn't put the annex on. And if you'd like to see that, uh, let us know in the comments below uh, to put the awning and the annex on. Um, Toby's trying to get in and tell us that he wants to play. Um, so what we're going to do now, uh, what we normally do is get everything out. So inside the trailer, uh, we keep all the chairs, um, I don't know, bits and pieces, a few containers of stuff. Um, there's the hot water service. Just had to go and get my drink, obviously. Uh, so it was a bit of a warm day. So we decided to open up the uh, windows a bit and let a bit of air in. Uh, so it's really simple to do. It works well. Uh, we've been camping in it when it's been quite warm and it hasn't been too hot. And um, it's not been that cold. We've been a couple of cold mornings where it's probably gotten down to about mm, two degrees. It hasn't been too bad. We find it um, that it's quite warm inside. And this is inside, um, inside the back of the, inside the, the tent. This is, we're going inside the camper, the back of the camper trailer here. So you'll see we've got it full of stuff. Um, so we pull out whatever we need. We try to keep all the stuff that we need at the front of it. So that's our hot water service. And the dogs didn't need their coats. So it was nice and sunny. So we um, close that again. Once you got everything out, we keep chairs, all that sort of stuff, all the dog's beds. The dogs seem to carry more stuff. Uh, we seem to carry more stuff for the dogs than what we do for ourselves sometimes. Uh, they, I think for a couple of the trips, they had two chairs each. 
um, or a, 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 a dog bed each, um, a, a dome chair we've got for them, and then their two um, cushions. So that's all locked up. It's pretty easy. You can access that almost any time. And then we keep the step underneath the mattress. Um, and then that just slides in. You need the step uh, to step up onto the mattress. It's not too bad. Um, it's not too high or too hard to get in. It'll be handy if it had a little handle sometimes on the side of the mattress, but you sort of get used to it and it's, it's all good. So that's our basic setup, and that's what I mean. It only takes us like 15 minutes to do a real quick basic setup. Um, and then this is a kitchen. Uh, we slide this out. It's got two legs. Uh, we put a level on to check, and what we do is we dig a little hole um, underneath the legs just to get it to the level that we need. Uh, so that works well. It's got the sink in the kitchen, and then you have to hook that up to the gas bottle. And that's it for this video. Uh, if you've got any questions for us, please leave them in the comments section. Uh, we're more than happy to answer what we can. Don't forget to click the like button and please give us a subscribe. It helps with the algorithms. And we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.